Hello everybody, video here for you today. Beyond Oak Island is a show in which the History Channel and Rick and Marty Lagina get involved with other treasure mysteries. If you missed any of my recaps of The Curse of Oak Island or Beyond Oak Island, there's a link to the playlist in the upper right. This is the No Cap recap of Season 3, Episode 3, called The Riches of Poverty Island. Episode 2 was a best of episode, and I've already recapped all the previous episodes, so I skipped that one. Let's get into it. As usual, the episode opens in the Oak Island War Room. Former Ford Motors historian Robert C. Kripke has joined the Lagina brothers and Maddie Blake to revisit the Poverty Island treasure mystery. It was originally the subject of the Beyond Oak Island Season 1, Episode 7, called Midwest Millions, and there's a link to that no cap recap in the upper right. In 1863, at the height of the American Civil War, a Union blockade at all the southern seaports was devastating the Confederate economy. It was believed that France, in order to get shipments of cotton, smuggled gold to the south through the northern channels. Although France was officially neutral, Napoleon III allegedly sent $4.5 million worth of gold to help the Confederates. Sorry, still doing mouse with left hand. Okay. One of these shipments is believed to have entered the northern portion of Lake Michigan near the 200-acre Poverty Island when the French ship was detected by a Union vessel. The Union gunboat was faster, so knowing that they would be caught, the French are believed to have dumped the gold overboard. According to researchers, five metal chests linked together by chains and carrying what today would be 4.5 million dollars worth of gold was lost on the ocean floor and not found until maybe 70 years later in 1933 Wilfred Behrens was searching and was believed to have found something but that night a squall forced his ship into the rocks and it sank he was planning another salvage mission, but died before he could carry that out. In the Midwest Millions episode of Beyond Oak Island, the team used sonar scanning, but did not find evidence of the chest or bearing ship on the south slash lighthouse side of the island. This time, they intend to search the north side. Maddie, Marty, and Robert will carry out the search while Rick holds down the fort on Oak Island. No idea when this would have been uh, filmed. So I don't know if it's in the middle of the Oak Island uh, season for this upcoming uh, season that starts November 15th or not. Uh, they have approximate coordinates from Robert's research and will travel survey lanes to use a magnetometer that can pick up such non-ferrous targets as a boiler, propeller, anchor, or the chest themselves. The team starts getting hits right away and ends up with several dive targets. The magnetometer expert will have to refine the data on shore, but says the data appears to indicate a large debris field instead of individual big items. The next day, they put recently certified Matty Blake and two expert divers in the water at the point of the biggest magnetometer hit. They will be using a 200-foot depth metal detector as well. The divers find this dead eye, which was used on ships to thread cables through. They believe it to be part of Baron's ship. After a rest and new air tanks for the divers, they get back to it and find this 20 to 25 foot long timber, which they speculate was part of the hull of the 1933 ship owned by Barons. And that's it for this episode, but they do intend to keep searching and will use an underwater remote vehicle to cover much more of the lake floor next time. 
I'm Coach Steve Money, and if you've got money problems or just want to make sure you're on the right track, you can schedule a free financial coaching consultation assessment with me at calendly.com slash coach steve money. You can email me about coaching or anything on my YouTube channel, coach steve money at gmail.com. Channel donations can go to paypal.me slash coach steve money. Add me on the gram. Instagram is at coach steve money. And of course, this YouTube channel is youtube.com slash coach steve money. Thank you so much for watching.